execution, execution, execution. You can get the call right, you can execute it really badly. When you look at what's happening in China, we can all call that it was a bubble. That was the consensus call. To actually trade what's happening in China now, is that near impossible? Well, first of all, let me say that uh, the valuation for some parts of the Chinese market is not extremely high. So obviously some parts are actually in a bubble, but not all the Chinese market. What is really important for us is to see a stabilization in economic growth, and I'm not so sure we are actually there. And we need to see more fiscal and monetary easing from, from the government, because I think this is actually what is required now in China. So why all the panic then, Luca? 50% of the equity markets are spending trading. This is the second largest economy. This isn't some developing country that's suffering a little market route. This is the second biggest equity market in the world. Why are they panicking so much? Well, we shouldn't forget that the market was strongly up until recently. So this is just a correction from an extremely, extremely strong uh, bull market. I think it was a combination of factors. The trigger was obviously the uh, uh, regulation on margin trading. Now, margin lending. Now, this has actually changed. And obviously, when you have so many people buying equities in, in such a short time, it's, there is a risk of a, of, of a correction. But I think the macro and the, and the mon monetary condition are actually much more important than everything else. There's a problem in China, though, and they seem to be addressing the symptoms of that problem and not the cause is rampant speculation, whether it's in the casinos of Macau, whether it's in the property market, and now it's in the Shanghai and Shenzhen bourses that we might as well call casinos over the last couple of months as well. As my colleague Willie Pesek has written, in the 80s, the 90s, Japan always addressed the symptoms and never the causes. Do you draw parallels between what is happening now in China and what happened in Japan? Well, obviously, there is a, a similarity in the sense that there was a huge build-up of, uh, of private debt. We see the same thing in, in China. On the other side, I think what is really different is the fact, first, that the housing bubble that we've seen in Japan is not compared to what we see in China in terms of, in terms of magnitude. And I also believe that uh, the, the, the authorities in China have probably a little bit more control than they have in Japan in the 90s. So I think there are some similarities, but I think the situation is not as bad as it was in Japan in the late 80s. What's the fallback? What's the feedback loop? As these guys keep kicking the can down the road and avoid the inevitable, you shut half of the market and the companies move to do that. When you stop big stockholders from selling, eventually, you feel the pain at some point in the future. What is the fallout of the decision-making process that's happening right now in China? Well, let's say we don't believe, and I don't believe that this rally we've seen today is sustainable if you are just driven by administrative measure. I think we really need to see a clear commitment by the government to ease fiscal policy and to do more in terms of monetary easing, because we shouldn't forget that the remain is still quite high. And, and, and deflationary pressure are actually big, especially on the PPI. So we need to see more in terms of monitoring fiscalism. Luca, you help manage a lot of money. Would you put any of that cash in China right now? We are actually uh, generally a little bit now uh, underweight in emerging markets. We see some value in China, but we probably wait a little bit more to add to our positions there. What are you worried about? Is it EM specific? Is it localized? Or is it coming from the US? Is it coming from the Fed? It's more the lack of uh, growth that we see now in, in emerging markets. A potential rate hike by the Fed is not going to help. But we believe that uh, probably at the end of this year, we're going to get a very good buying opportunity in emerging markets. Overweight equities. Where are you overweight right now? We are overweight in Japan and also in, uh, in Europe.